Hey guys, I'm Samantha and I really like fashion. I'm looking forward to fall. I'm also really excited about fall fashion and all the new trends and color schemes that are going on right now. So I took to Pinterest. I pulled a couple outfits. I actually pulled way too many outfits. <laughs> I just really wanted to try these outfits on my size 16 body and just see how I could style them for me. We're gonna really play and explore with fall fashion and I'm really excited. So let's see what outfits I picked out and which ones I'm gonna recreate. So this is the first look that I put together. I didn't have any zip up hoodies, but I figured the vibe was actually the color scheme. And I had this jacket, which I got at Goodwill. It's a little bit more blazer-like than the look that she's going for. Hers is definitely way more casual. I'm actually surprised that this jacket is so comfortable. I've actually never worn this before. I've had it in my closet for like a year. So I got the same vibe, brown on white on black, which I think is a super cute combination. And I got these white sneakers at Walmart. I don't know how practical this look would be for me, for at least another two or three months here in Arizona. I actually kind of feel fashionable in this because I'm actually layering pieces together. I'm very much a person who's like, this piece is a standalone thing. It is cute on its own. Let's move on to the next look. Okay, so here's this look. This is my fiance's button up. This is a look. Super sophisticated, definitely not something I would have put together for my own body. Oh my god, I got places to go. I got places to be. But it's definitely making me think about experimenting a little bit more with my fiance's wardrobe. These are my Halara pants that I got from my last video. A different way to style them, all rolled up like this. I don't ever think of purses <laughs> when I'm styling an outfit. I usually swap out a purse probably once every three months or so. So to pair an outfit and then pick a purse to kind of go with it, that's new to me. I think the only thing I don't like about purse switching is I have to move everything from one purse to the next purse and I have a lot of stuff. But yeah, I think this makes a really interesting, fun, new look that I can kind of play with. Let's see what the next outfit is. All right. so. This is the next look. This look was actually the one I was most excited for out of all the looks. I just felt like it was super out of my comfort zone and the color palette and the whole style just looked super like girl next door garden style. I don't know if that's a thing. I'm making it a thing though. This was the only striped shirt that I own and I was actually just about to get rid of it. So I was lucky I still had it. I think another color underneath the red would make it more funky and that like garden chic. Yeah, and this is really out of the box for me. I never do anything with my hair. I never really layer like a long sleeve under a short sleeve shirt. I, I think this is super unique. I don't know if it's totally me. I think I'm a little bit more girly, but I can definitely girl this up with maybe like a floral shirt instead, or maybe floral sleeves underneath. Like I could see myself playing in some piles of leaves. I'm just kind of picturing me as a kid now. Is this a kid outfit? Garden chic. Should I go get like a plant or something? Just like hold a plant. All right, let's go try on the next outfit. This is definitely a best to my abilities recreation. I don't have anything with those bell sleeves. I don't think it works <laughs> as well as she did it. She definitely rocked it better than me. Um, but I think it's just because she has pieces that do all the right things. Hi. Ooh, you look gorgeous. Really? I think so. You like this? Oh. S something. Hmm. Hi. That's not you. This is a look. I could definitely 
you know, try to make it work with maybe a different undershirt underneath. And I really like slip dresses, so I would like to get a couple more and kind of see what I can come up with. But yeah, I did the best with what I had, and maybe I can really recreate the look another time. Let's see what the next outfit is. So this is the next outfit. I just picked this up from Goodwill a couple days ago, and I think this is so cute, and it definitely has the vibe of the girl in the photo. I don't own any brown leather jackets or anything, so I just grabbed that jacket from the first round, um, which is a little lighter brown than the one that she was showing, but still brown on brown. After a lot of scrolling on Pinterest and Instagram, I realized like the color of this season is just like dirt brown. Brown has always looked really good on my complexion, and I did want to find a couple more brown pieces. So when I saw this, at Goodwill. I figured this definitely covers my vibe, which is like soft boho, girl frolicking in the meadow. <laughs> I guess that's kind of how I'd classify my vibe. Yeah, and she wore her hair fully up with a couple strands loose to give that like carefree, but like still styling vibe. It's gonna toss it over there. Yeah, and this is just a very straightforward look. Like, there's not many accessories except for a couple of necklaces involved with this. Very simple non-layering outfits are very much me. And this is perfect for Phoenix Fall. I would definitely go to the park and, like, paint and have a picnic. I think I can even, like, accessorize this with a couple of cute items. Like, some fun, funky earrings would definitely be more my vibe. So let's go see the next outfit. This is the next look. It's a nice knit sweater with these fun, funky orange pants and some combat boots. I really wish I had her sweater in the picture, but I picked this one up from Goodwill last year and this is the only funky sweater that I have. I have an all blue sweater, but it's not, it doesn't have any patterns on it or anything, so I figured this one would probably go best, but I think it's a little like shapeless on me. But since it's flowy on flowy, I just kind of look shapeless, which isn't a bad thing. I think if I'm trying to be comfy, go into work with some Starbucks, I think this could be a look for that um, when it's nice and cold out and everything. But probably until January, it's not going to be cool enough to wear this sweater. <laughs> Together, like, the pieces are kind of fun. I like playing with color. I'm very much a color wearer, so I would love to experiment with more color. But something that I noticed when I scrolling around Pinterest was that most of the outfits were just very much earth tone. I specifically was having to look up, like, funky pants, fun colors for fall, like all of these things to bring up results that had fun funky colors. I really liked her outfit because pairing orange with blue is definitely like a like a sweet combo because um, those colors are opposite on the color wheel. This might look a little bit more bland. I should go get my blue sweater so you could kind of see the difference it is. There is like a couple blue stripes on top, but if the blue was touching the orange, it would look so much better. But since the red is touching the orange, I think the colors kind of clash a little bit. Let me go get the blue sweater so you can see kind of what the colors look like. Yeah, this is probably way more of the vibe that she was trying to go for, but this blue on orange look is a lot better than that last sweater. <laughs> I think it definitely separates my top half versus my bottom half instead of kind of blending together with the same colors. So this was definitely the right choice to pair it with a blue sweater. I might have to retake that opening photo. But I think this would definitely make a really great like winter outfit um, where I'm bringing in some Starbucks and a couple Christmas presents for my friends. I don't know why I'm thinking about that. I usually don't pair sweaters with flowing pants though because I know that it kind of gives me a more baggy look and I just don't think that emphasizes like my shape and my body the way I want to but I could start playing with some of them because I have so many flowy pants. 
All right, well, let's go on to the next look. So this is the next outfit. This was hard to find the right black top with to kind of get that same vibe. I think I definitely took it a step up and made it way more girly. She had a more sleek look because she didn't have the puffy sleeves, but I really wanted that square neckline with this outfit. This is definitely more of a fall vibe for Arizona. It's got some of the darker colors in here, but also like super light and comfortable for the fall weather that we actually have here. So I have not worn belts since probably high school when belts became a thing, like the big chunky belts. So I fished this one out. I think it came with a dress or something that I got at Goodwill. But yeah, I just also got this purse at Goodwill a couple of weeks ago and I thought it was a really good pair with this as a very soft piece, but I think I would definitely wear this out, especially with this little pink purse. Let's move on to the next outfit. Now this is the last look, but to follow that trend of me loving funky colors and funky patterns, and luckily I had this pair of pants that I haven't worn yet. I didn't know which purse went best with this, I have these two, which this is more of a summer purse, so maybe I would save this for more of a summer look, but this is kind of an all year round purse, so, but I'm going to work with the pink one for right now. Yeah, I also went into Keen's closet to steal this graphic t-shirt. I think this is a super fun look, I love bringing out like a fun, funky pattern or print for any season and I don't think the fun funky colors and patterns should stop for fall or even winter like wear whatever you guys want like for any season I don't dress per season I just dress for comfort of that weather during that time but you know it's just super fun to kind of play with style and see what's trending right now thank you so much for watching and trying on all these fall trendy outfits with me let me know down in the comments if there were any styles that you saw that you kind of want to play around with for this fall season thanks so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below i'll see you guys in the next video bye